It wasn't until about play five or six that this all goes down. So boom, Jaren gets the ball, and he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. I go inside, you feel me? I'm, <laughs> and I just go in, I go in for a tackle. Boom! And I hear this noise that is just like a complete snapping noise, bro. And I'm like, oh God, oh God. Hey, if you're watching this right now, I just want to let you know that you're great, man. Just because the day might not be going your way doesn't mean to give up, doesn't mean to quit. Just because you got so much doubt in your head, everybody's telling you not to do what you want to do. Do what you want to do, bro. Keep on grinding every day, nudging at it, bro. And you ain't even got to tell everybody. Just keep doing you, bro, and you're going to be great. What? Get certified, gang. It's your boy Keiko, and I'm back with another video, back with another banger. And as you can see, we're on the original cam that got this channel started, bro. We haven't even been at this YouTube stuff for a year, bro. We almost at 60K. And I just want to thank you guys for supporting me, man. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, bro. For real, for real. We're so close to hitting 60K. We on my original cam today, you know what I'm saying? Not just to bring back some memories, but just because my other camera is dead right now, I ain't feel like doing all that. I'm bringing y'all a nice, beautiful story. You feel me? Y'all seem to like my last story time. A lot of y'all was in the comments like, hey, bring more football story times. And I was like, all right, bro, say less. Let's let's bring y'all some more stories, bro. I got a lot of crazy stories. Who's coming out here? Come out here. Okay, the door just opened. No, I'm kind of scared, bro. But I know you guys can see the title to today's story, bro. Today's story is a pretty gruesome story, you feel me? And first and foremost, I just want to say, don't go out here and practice trying to hurt your teammates or anything like that. Because what you guys will find out in this story, I wasn't even trying to do that. It just kind of happened. But I thought, hey, it's been some years I never told this story on the channel, so why not tell this story, man? Certified gang members and football players worldwide, this is a story about how I broke my teammate's leg in practice, bro. Like, I'm talking about snap that jaw. It was crazy. It was wild. I still remember it to this day. It just seems brand new in the mind, man. Some football injuries, bro, are very, very gruesome, as you guys know. So make sure you guys leave a like, them a little subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know what videos y'all want to see next. And let's get right into it, man. The story about how I broke my teammate's his leg and practice dog we're ready to get it started Beach, I got loose the story of how I broke my teammates leg in practice how did it start this story takes place my senior year of high school in Fishers Indiana at Fishers High School home of the Tigers you feel me Rawr! Anyways, it was my senior year, you know what I'm saying? And as you guys know in my football story, my senior year was very, very important to me. It was the year I got the most film. It was the year that helped me get a lot of um, college offers to the next level and everything like that. But this particular story, it already takes place during the season. Like the season had already started. It was past two days, all of that. We was already playing games and everything like that, right? In practice, you always got the main, you know, defense. You feel me? The number ones, the people that's going to start. And then you got the scout team. And the scout team, if for those of you who are young or whatever, you don't know what the scout team is, the scout team is basically like a team of underclassmen or the people that's not really playing. And they run the other teams like offense or defense so that you guys can, you feel me, practice against the team. You know what I'm saying? And get ready for what they about to show you on Friday night. You know what I'm saying? This was a Wednesday practice. And the reason I remember this specific day was because like the way our schedule was in high school, Monday and Tuesday, like Monday we would be just helmets. Tuesdays we would be helmets, shoulder pads, and shorts. Wednesday would be our only full pad day. Thursday we would be helmets and shoulder pads, uh, which is what they would call it, shells, you feel me? And then Friday's game. The reason I remember it was Wednesday because we were fully padded, all right? And I want to say we came off a loss. I don't know exactly the team we was going to end up facing, but I feel like we had came off a loss and our coaches were really mad about a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? You already know how it is when you lose and then you come back to practice next week, the coach is on your ass, you feel me? You know, practice is normal pretty much. You start out with special teams, you feel me? Warming up um, and everything like that. Then you go individual. Everything's fine, you feel me? I think our coach that day made us do some crazy like backpedaling drills, have my legs sore as hell, but everything was still cool up until this point, right? We get to one-on-ones and one-on-ones was like my favorite part of practice, you feel me? And I was locking people up, lock up, lock up, you feel me? me interception right here Bad you, 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 get, you get locked down by the treble practice was good so after the one on one the main the number one defense and then anybody that gets rotated in will go against the scout team so our coaches had told us like today in practice 
we're going to give the number ones 10 live plays and what i mean by 10 live plays is like those are plays where you're you know you're tackling going to the ground going 100 percent and they're giving 10 of those plays just because they wanted us to get more practice because we had played trash the week before you feel me so we start off at 11 or 11 and the first few plays they just want us to go thud you feel me it ain't to like the last 10 plays and i think the number twos they get like eight plays or six or something like that before we get into what happened during those 10 plays let me explain the people that were on the scout team. So like I said earlier, the scout team is usually full of players that are not either playing at the time or they're underclassmen and they just need some development. They're on the scout team working, you feel me, against the number one defense, right? So some of these players can be smaller. Some of these players can be weak or slow or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They were the scouts. His name was Jaron. You feel me? I'm not going to let y'all know his last name all that because I don't know if you want his information. But his name was Jaron. Okay, and Jaron is a shorter guy. You feel me? He plays running back, and uh, I think he ended up going to play college ball at this uh, D3 school. But anyways, at the time he was younger. You feel me? So he would run the scout team. Sometimes he would um, go in with the varsity. Sometimes, but today he was with the scout team. Right? Here we are at these ten plays. It's time to go live. You feel me? Um, you know, during the high school, my, my high school kind of ran, you know, some basic coverages, cover four, cover two. We would man up some time to time, but we didn't really have like too many athletes like that that could man up all the way. But it's time for these 10 plays. You feel me? Play one. Go by. You feel me? I ain't, ain't nothing really happening. You feel me? There's nothing to my sides. You have to happen. Ain't nothing happening. I'm like, okay, I'm doing pretty good. You feel me? On my little grade sheet, because they would give us grade sheets, I think I'm going to get an A. Play three, same thing. Play four, same thing. You feel me? It wasn't until about play five or six to this all goes now. You feel me? Just like I mentioned my boy Jaren earlier, bro. And like I said, I'm not telling this story to make fun of him or anything or make glorify an injury. They hand him off the ball. You know what I'm saying? And I'm at corner. I play DB, obviously. And you know how sometimes when a running back kind of runs, like, not up the middle, but he's not so much running a sweep to the outside, but he's taking that little lane inside where, like, the corner and your receiver's right here, he's taking that inside lane, right? So, boom, Jaren gets the ball. And he's running, he's running, he's running, he's running. Bro, he was basically, if I wouldn't have tackled him, he would have scored, you know what I'm saying? So basically he's running, he's running, he's running. I see him running, I, I recognize the play, you feel me? The receiver, I don't even know if the receiver tried to block me or what it was. A lot of times when the play is more inside, most corners won't go for an inside play. But tell me, bro, I'm the type of corner, I'll try to go in the inside, I don't care, bro. I want some action, you feel me? I go inside, you feel me? I'm, <laughs> Jaren's running. <coughs> I don't even think really Jaren saw me or gave me a move or anything like that. And I just go in. I go in for a tap. Boom. You feel me? Tap. I hear this noise, bro. And I hear this noise that is just like a complete snapping noise, bro. And I'm like, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Like, you ever heard one of them noises? You just, it's just a nasty noise. You know something nasty happened. I'm like, oh, God, you feel me? I tackled him. I heard that snapping noise. And I'm like, oh, shoot. You know, my first instinct is to look at myself. Because sometimes when you get hurt bad, like, the, your, your adrenaline takes over, so you don't really feel it. So I look down at my legs, and I'm good. You feel me? My legs is good. I'm like, okay, bad, bad, bad. Maybe it was like, a, I don't know, a cleat or just a noise that I heard, right? But uh, then I look over, and I hear this scream. I hear that scream, bro, and it was one of them screams where you know, like, oh yeah, like nobody capping, you feel me? I look over, and his leg was turned. Like, bro, I can't even, listen, bro, his leg was like, you know, bro, it was bent the way it's not supposed to be bent, bro. His leg was bent the way it was not supposed to be bent. I was like, oh God, oh yeah, oh yeah. I instantly felt sick to my stomach, bro. His leg was just turned the other way, bro. That, that's all I can explain. It was turned the other way. His ankle was pointing in a way it should not have been pointed. I broke his leg. You feel me? And I guess what had happened was like when I had tackled him, I don't know if my body like went on his, his leg the wrong way or what exactly happened, bro, but his leg was snapped. It was gone and he was yelling. You feel me? I mean, I've seen some pretty crazy injuries. My freshman year of high school when I was at Lawrence North, um, I seen this dude named Gabe he stuck his leg out and he broke his femur, you feel me? And I seen that, 
But I, I've never been like the cause to an injury like that, bro. I was literally the cause to this man's injury, bro. And just like everybody, once they seen it, because at first they didn't kind of know what was going on. Once they seen it, everybody like ran away and was like, oh, 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 oh. And at the time, my boy Jaren, he's got a, a real good friend named RJ, you feel me? I've talked about him before. And RJ is like his good friend, you feel me? Um, and you know, at the time, like RJ was real, real sad because they were you know, like best friends, you feel me? And obviously I was sad at the time too because I, I, it's not like I was trying to hurt bro on purpose or anything like that, it just happened. You know what I'm saying? And see something gruesome like that, they make you like scared to play and everything like that. So basically, um, the coaches like just stopped practice at that point. We had like waited till the ambulance could come. He was laying there. Ambulance ended up taking them. People was talking about it and this is that. And it was like, oh, you're triple to this and that. And um, basically, you know, at the end of the day, I don't know why. Like I said, bro, my high school coach just did not like me, bro. I don't know if it's because I spoke my mind or what it was, bro, but he just did not like me, bro. Bro, at the end of practice, you're going to be like, oh, you know, he's dead. Like, bro, I was not trying to hurt, bro. Bro, it don't make sense. Sometimes you coaches don't make sense. Y'all tell us, go 100%, tackle, you know, all this stuff. And then when somebody get hurt, you mad at me when you told me to do that. You know what I'm saying? Not telling me to hurt him, but like you told me to go 100%. And it's like I said, it wasn't like I was trying to hurt him. So basically, um, yeah, obviously, at that point, his season was over. He ended up having surgery, I'm pretty sure. Um, and he was out that entire season. But even that day, bro, I made a post on Instagram. This is when I wasn't really on Instagram like that. And I was like, bro, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? I'm praying for you, all that other stuff. And it was all love. Like, he, did, he wasn't mad at me or anything because he knew, like, I didn't do that shit on purpose, and so we was cool after that and everything. But even, um, like, when I went to school that next week, all the girls and stuff was at school, and like, oh, I heard you broke Jaren's leg, because he had a lot of friends. I heard you broke Jaren's leg, you're an asshole. I'm like, damn, I didn't do it on purpose, shawty. I ain't do it on purpose, shawty, you feel me? But basically, that's the story of how I broke my teammate's leg. He ended up healing, obviously. Um, I want to say it was less than a year and he was back that next season for uh, his team. Obviously, that was my senior year. So, um, he ended up going to a D3 school. I don't know if he's playing now, but shout out to you, Jaren, man. Shout out to Tigers, bro. But that was the story about how I broke my teammate's leg. In the comments down below, let me know if you've injured somebody to that extent. Um, like I said, bro, this is not to glorify oh, you know, you should injure somebody or anything like that, bro. I, I, I never wish the worst on anybody. It just had happened, you feel me? So that's the story. And let me know if y'all want more stories down below. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. I love y'all, man. I'm out.